Everyone's got a voice in this conversation, and I mean by that every one of you. Age doesn't disqualify. So we need to open our ears and to listen to the communication of God, and the best way to do that is again by listening to each other as we take the road together. And speak from your heart doesn't matter what you've got to say it's precious you may have a word even a word from God that no one else in Australia has so speak with boldness So we've just driven up to Gympie from Brisbane. It's a beautiful day. We're heading into the uh, Pavilion uh, and Expo Centre to run a listening and discernment session for all the students from the Wide Bay area. This is part of a number of student plenary assemblies that are happening. So it's exciting to be to be up out of uh, Brisbane city and hearing what these young people are going to have to say. Okay, so we just got here to the Gympie Pavilion. I'm Jade, this is Caitlin, and we're both looking forward to a really exciting day. So we just finished session one, uh, listening and discernment. We want everybody to feel welcome. We want everybody to know they're welcome in the church. It doesn't matter what they are, they feel welcome. They know that they can come to church. Yeah. And I think it's really important to listen to young people because I think they've got a lot of wisdom and we can learn a lot from listening to what they've got to offer. You need young people to come in to the process so that they then feel welcomed to come to Mass and be part of a church community. So I think it's important to be involved because if we want to have a voice then it's no point sitting back and saying later on that we don't like what's happening if we've not actually stood up and had our say. And so it's a really important part for the Catholic Church to see what young people have to say about the future. Our generation is the generation that's going to lead the church into the future, but the future is becoming more and more the now. So us being involved in the plenary assembly today and right now is mega important so that our voices and our perspectives are involved in the direction of the church. I think it's really important that the students are involved in the student plenary assemblies because they are the future of the church. They are the people who will be the church uh, in coming years. And I think uh, at a time when young people are increasingly feeling like they don't belong or aren't valued, the invitation to speak and to have a voice at these plenary sessions really affirms the importance of young people in the church today. If we all do that, then the church in this country will have a future that may look different, but a church that will be every bit uh, as, as rich and powerful as the past that gave us John B. Polding, Mary McKillop and a whole procession of remarkable spirit people down to Auntie Joan Hendricks. 